Noradam Sihamoni. In this Cambodian name, the surname is Noradam. In accordance with Cambodian custom, this person should be referred to by the given name, Sihamoni. Noradam Sihamoni, Khmer, Naradam Sehamuni, Noram S. J. Hamoni, born 14. May 1953, is King of Cambodia. He became king on October 14, 2004, a week after the abdication of his father, Noradam Sihanouk. He is the eldest son of King Sihanouk and former queen consort Noradam Mananith and is the fourth monarch from the royal house of Noradam. Before ascending the throne after his selection by a nine-member throne council to become the next monarch, Sihamoni previously served as Cambodia's ambassador to the United Nations and UNESCO. He was educated in Czechoslovakia and was known for his work as a cultural ambassador in Europe and as a classical ballet instructor when he was still prince. During his reign, Sihamoni has continued his cultural advocacy alongside supporting various philanthropic causes, while balancing his role as a constitutional monarch amid Cambodia's political developments. Early Life Sihamoni was born on Thursday, May 14, 1953, in Phnom Penh, Cambodia when it was still a colonial protectorate within French Indochina. The prince's birth at the time was viewed as a positive omen as Cambodia gained independence from France later in that year. Given name, Sihamoni, comprises two morphemes from his parents' given names, Sihanouk and Mononith. As for Noradam, this means Neurotham in Pali and Prakrit, which translates to, the best amongst men. The name has a similar meaning in Khmer language as well. Time of his birth and that of his younger brother, his mother Princess Monique who is of Khmer, French and Corsican descent, had been one of King Noradam Sihanouk's consorts after being a constant companion since the day they met in 1951, when she won first prize in a national beauty contest. The queen was granted the title of Nik Maniang and the name of Mononith at the time of her marriage to King Noradam Sihanouk in 1952. Furthermore, Queen Mononith is a step-granddaughter of the late Prince Noradam Duong Chaker of Cambodia, and the daughter of Pom Ping and of her second husband, Jean-Francois Izzy, a Corsican banker. Amoni has 14 half-brothers and half-sisters by his father, his only full sibling, a younger brother, Samdek Noradam Narendrapong, was born in 1954 and died in 2003. Education and Life Abroad King Prince Sihamoni first began his education in 1959, where he attended Noradam School, followed by Lycée Descartes School in Phnom Penh, developing a keen interest in the arts early on in his life in 1962 the young Sihamoni was sent to Prague in Czechoslovakia by his father to study abroad. There, he completed his early education at Majakovskiho Primary School and later at Ostrovny Elementary School. When he was in his pre-adolescence years, he starred in a production of Pyotr Tchaikovsky's The Nutcracker at the prestigious Prague National Theatre, where he pursued private ballet and piano classes and was once even selected for a television rendition of Brundabar, a well-known children's opera. He then concluded his secondary education at the National Prague Conservatory and was regarded as an able student, getting high marks. Here, he further developed his interest in the performing arts, undertaking. Courses in this field and excelling at the top of his class. Furthermore, he attained great fluency. In Czech. A movie directed by Vladimir Sees was shot about the prince in Prague in 1967, under the name The Other Little Prince, Jeannie Mali Prink. The prince would occasionally visit his homeland for holidays of which when he did, he involved himself in Cambodia's arts and cultural scene, including starring in a film made by his father and performing ballet. During the 1970 Cambodian coup d'état by Lan Nau, Sihamoni remained in Czechoslovakia. Between 1971 and 1975, Sihamoni completed his higher education in classical dance and music at the Academy of Performing Arts in Prague, culminating with the attainment of a master's degree for which he wrote a thesis titled The Conception and Administration of Artistic Schools in Cambodia. After graduation in 1975 he left Prague and began to study filmmaking in North Korea. 
Return to Cambodia. In 1976, Sihamoni was forced to come back to Cambodia after having been deceived by the Khmer Rouge with a forged telegram, undersigned by King Sihanouk ordering his return, 16, 17, immediately, the ruling Khmer Rouge regime headed by Pol Pot turned against the monarchy, and put the royal family including Sihamoni, his brother Prince Noradam Narendrapong, his mother Queen Noradam Mononith, his father King Noradam Sihanouk under house arrest in the royal palace during much of the period of democratic Kampuchea. The consequent Cambodian genocide saw several members of the wider royal family killed and Sihamoni and his immediate family lived in daily fear for their lives, effectively shut off from the outside world. Throughout their period of house arrest, the prince recounted how they were prohibited from making contact with anyone and was barred from having any. F. The Khmer Rouge soldiers would give them food consisting of rice and fish that was limited to two times a week and they had to for the most part, cultivate their own food from the palace gardens. With the 1979 Vietnamese invasion, which ousted the Khmer Rouge, the family was airlifted to China and Sihamoni subsequently worked as a secretary for his father. Career 1981 Sihamoni moved to France to teach ballet as a professor of classical dance and artistic pedagogy, a position which he held for almost two decades, at various conservatoires, including the Marius Petipa Conservatory, the Gabriel IV Conservatory and the W.A. Mozart Conservatory. He was also later president of the Khmer Dance Association there. He lived in France for nearly 20 years and continued his pursuit in the arts, establishing Ballet Deva an original dance troupe, in which he served as its general manager and artistic director, alongside heading the Royal Khmer Cinematic Corporation. During this overseas period, for a time, he entered into the monkhood under the auspices of Sandek Bor Krai, who would later become a supreme patriarch of Cambodia. Early 1990s, Cambodia Supreme National Council, which was recognized by United Nations Security Council Resolution 668 as part of the transitional process in the country pursuant to the 1991 Paris Peace Agreements, unanimously selected Prince Sihamoni in 1992 as its permanent representative to the United Nations, which he served until 1993. That same year of 1993 saw the prince being appointed as Cambodia's permanent representative to UNESCO in Paris, a role he held right until he became king in 2004. In this role he became known for his hard work and devotion to Cambodian culture. He had previously refused an appointment as Cambodia's ambassador to France. In October 2003, he was additionally appointed as a high privy councillor to then King Noradam Sihanouk. Personal life The king is a bachelor and has no children. As Cambodia is not a hereditary monarchy, but rather an elective monarchy, his future successor will be determined by the Royal Council of the Throne, chosen from the lineage of one of the two royal houses of Cambodia, in accordance with the country's constitution. His parents, King Father Noradam Sihanouk and Queen Mother Noradam Mononith, were once questioned by journalists about Sihamoni's marital status and when he was planning to get married. In response, the Queen Mother replied that her son only feels Buddhist and that he confines himself to Buddhism. The King Father added that because of this, his son's affection for women is akin to that of as his sisters and that he dares not to make a deep relationship. This reflects Sihamoni's adherence to a monastic way of life which is underpinned by his austere piety and devotion to faith. In some respects, Sihamoni is regarded somewhat as an enigmatic figure, with the available literature pointing to a reflective, deliberate and cultured man who apparently had reservations in becoming king, yet in spite of this, humbly assumed the solemn responsibility of his position, whilst holding his cards close to his chest. Interests, Edit Apart from his interest in the arts and culture, which is well documented, it is reported that the king is a man of simple tastes. 
Purportedly, in his free time he enjoys the peace of meditation, reading, exercising, listening to classical music such as by the likes of Beethoven and observance to traditional Buddhist rituals. In addition, it is reported that he enjoys comedy films, is the occasional fan of chocolates, and likes to keep up with current events and news, balancing his personal interests with that of his busy and strict schedule as head of state. His commitment to the duties of a monarch could be seen in 2011 where he famously declined to attend the royal wedding of then Kate Middleton and Prince William, which the British tabloids headlined as a snub. This was quickly refuted by Ministry of Foreign Affairs officials who informed that a declination notification was indeed advised and that no snub occurred. Whatsoever. Moreover, alongside having an interest in DVDs relating to ballet and opera in general, he is also skilled at playing the piano and is reputedly a keen reader of reviews covering the Czech theater scene. Wealth. Speeches that Prime Minister Hun Sen delivered in November 2020 and August 2021, he made rare public references about the king's wealth by mentioning that compared to other monarchies in the world, Cambodia's monarchy is amongst the poorest. He further added that the king does not have his own private property. However, these factors, Sen noted were irrelevant, as more importantly, Sihamoni has a generous heart towards his people as evident by his philanthropic contributions. Languages Besides his native Khmer, Sihamoni speaks Czech fluently, being the only ruling monarch in the world to do so. The king is also fluent in French and is a conversational speaker of English and Russian. He has basic fluency in Mandarin as well.